Tonight we are going to make two cards. And I'm not going to show you what they are because we're just going to get to it. I'm just going to pull everything up on the iPad. Um, good news, I finally ordered a new mount. Yay! And even better news, if you want to order one yourself, you can get 20% off uh, using my code. So I will post that on my website as soon as I have more information. But um, if you've been thinking about getting an Archon mount, then come find me because I've, I'll hook you up. And let's get to this. So you can see this is the card that we are doing. The details are on my website. I just posted this for a challenge yesterday. So that is on there. It's also on Instagram. So we're going to get to this. Just need to grab my die and this is from the Rose Garden Thin sorry bad Wi-Fi connection um, these are retiring I'm so sad this is by far my favorite of this whole set and very sad to see it go um, so what we are going to do is cut this out but before we do that we cut just how I created this. So I use the Love What You Do stamp set and if you want to see more of this tune in to YouTube tomorrow because that will be the video that will be up. I am going to use this lovely big background stamp on a D block. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're basically just going to eyeball this. I'm going to put it right where the rose is. So it's basically in this general part and it doesn't have to be perfect and you can use whatever colors you'd like. I'm using powder pink and pear pizzazz. Just going to set that out of the way. So just ink that up. And I did one at full strength and I did one offset that was stamped off. Uh, we'll stamp off just a tiny bit on there. There we go. That's better. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then for the pear pizzazz, we are going to get a finger dauber. And we are going to go in the general area of where the leaves are. Now, if in doubt, just place this back there and you can go kind of where you think it's going to be. And I always do it on a piece of scrap paper first because you don't want to end up with it too dark. You can always put more on. You cannot always take it off. Case and point. So you can always start off your page and then just work your way on, which is what I should have done up there. And you can see most of that is going to end up being cut out. So that's good. So it is that simple. You may think that what I had done was I inked it up after I had cut it out, but no. <laughs> I wanted it this way so that it wasn't perfect. I'm just going to cut this in the big shot, and I've got too much stuff in the way for you to see what I'm doing. Sorry, we got interrupted there. Um, so I had just die cut this and was just about to say if you haven't used the bristle brush you don't even need to use it on the mat that it comes on just kind of run it over where the pieces should come out there you go there's a couple more in there so Instead of using your paper piercing tool and trying to get out each piece individually, I find that that brush does a really good job. So just kind of find one spot that's lifted up. I tend to start with the leaves and work my way. Don't pull too hard because this is fairly delicate and will rip. And I know that it was easy and took like all of one minute to do this, but I don't think you want to keep redoing it. Just pop out those little pieces that are being stubborn and don't want to come out. It's 
So this was going through twice. I probably could have gone through a couple more times. I'm not sure why this piece doesn't want to come out. I haven't had that problem before. Okay, so that's that. It's kind of hard to see, but there is that little bit of pink and there's, we're gonna just touch up that piece up there because there's a little more pink than I would like it to be. But the reason I did it like this is because now that I see this, I would want to fill it all in and that was not the look I was going for. You can see that there was a lot of white on that. So there we go. I'm going to close up these inks before I put my hands in it. Oh, and guys, I placed my pre-order yesterday. As a demonstrator, we get to place a pre-order on, uh, this time was May 2nd, and it just shipped today. I did regular shipping, which is going to be painful to wait for, because in Canada, it takes um, typically six business days. But I could not justify doing the, spending $50 on shipping instead of, 20 I think it might have been 25 I just couldn't do it because I mean that's more product that I could be getting so I'm gonna have to be patient it's not easy for me but I ordered some great things there weren't as many stamp sets as I had hoped that there would be this is my first annual catalog going whoops going live so it's all kind of well it's all exactly brand new to me so uh, I read some good advice from a demonstrator I think of 14 years who said you know all of this stuff is going to be around for the next year so we don't need to go out on May 3rd sorry May 2nd or alternatively June 1st and get every single thing from the catalog we have all year so let's kind of pace ourselves so that was great advice for me to receive oh boy and I did just that I have ordered the new inks as part of the color revamp and the new cardstock and one bundle there weren't a lot of bundles in the pre-order that I was interested in, and I have made a wish list of the items I wanted, so I was trying to stay true to that, and I did! And I got a couple of new products that I know once you see me use, you're going to want to use them, and then you're going to want them. They're fantastic. So, can't wait to show you those. Um, so you can see here, I am just using my Tombow and pretty much putting a dot every few centimeters anywhere where there's a larger area it's just to keep it from popping up I have used the fine tip glue pen but I love that Tombow dries so much faster so we're just going to place that down and I love that it takes up so much of the mat. I'm just going to lay a card or a stamp set on there for a moment. Can't really do much else. So while we're waiting for that to set for a couple of seconds, I'm going to show you something that I meant to show you last week but got so distracted that I forgot. So this is the color revamp. These are the incoming in colors, so lovely lipstick, pineapple punch, blueberry bushel, grapefruit grove, and call me clover. And then you can see all my information on the back. So all of those colors there. And then we've got the current in colors with all of those there. So this will be a great way to uh, kind of do what I understand is a color coach. So if you wanted to pair some of the incoming colors with some of the current in colors, you just kind of hold them up. And then we've got the basics, and I just have a laminated sheet between each of these. Neutrals, 
So the color families have all gotten a bit of a shaking up. I love the brights. The subtles. I cannot wait for mint macaron and soft sea foam. So happy pool party stayed. Still think Calypso Coral is a little too intense for the Settles line, but whatevs. And then here is the Regals. And I was kind of thinking that with a minimum order that I would include these for my customers. So if that is something you'd be interested in, whether you're watching this live or on YouTube or just as a can't think of the word. If you're watching after the live, just leave me a thumbs up or a comment if this is something you'd be interested in receiving as one of my customers. And to be one of my customers, you just need to live in Canada. I can only sell within my own market. So if you do not currently have a demonstrator and are looking for someone within Canada, please consider me. Uh, next, we are going to use this beautiful Every Little Kindness Makes the World Brighter from the Waterfront Stamp. One of my favorite sentiments in this stamp set. And you can see I've still got my background on there. I'm just going to stamp that up. Pop it on there. And with our paper piercing tool, we're just going to pop on some pearls. So this was for uh, the TGIF challenge log. They had a tic-tac-toe challenge this week and I always enjoy a good tic-tac-toe. So I chose, or, you know what, I kind of like it like that. Uh, I chose pink flowers and pearls. So this was perfect. Kind of like how it accents that follows the shape of the brighter. This is the new detailed trio punch and I got this at on stage in Red Deer and I'm just going to round off these two corners and you can see you just kind of line it up in there and voila and that is really all there is to that card so I'm not gonna finish that up because you know how to glue a card base on but all I did was put a piece of um, printer paper and cut it down to an A2 size mat, which is four by five and a quarter, and then stamped thank you, and just used some snail at the top and the bottom. So there's that card. And I'm sorry if I'm kind of rushing. I want you to be able to see both cards because I said it's a two for one. So just gonna stamp that off. And put that away. So Waterfront was from the Occasions catalog and you will be happy to know it is carrying over. So if it's something you've been wanting, by all means get it while the Occasions catalog is still live until May 31st, but it will be carrying over. So yay! Okay, next card for Mother's Day because that's coming up quicker than we realize. I wanted to show you this new gorgeous set. Mind Alphabet. And I have a couple of cards that I've posted, uh, mainly on Instagram, that use just the stamps. The thinlets are fantastic, but they are a little out of my price range until I have a half price item. Um, so right now I'm basically just stamping what I need and fussy cutting and instead of you having to watch me do that tonight I have already prepared my letters so this is the card we are making you see that embossing folder one of the petal pairs and then I've got the simple stripes on there it's just gorgeous look at the Sun streaming in shining on all those flowers and then for this one, again, just a piece of printer paper and I put, I just love you, which is one of the sentiments from the stamp set that we're using. And some flowers in there. I'm not quite sure what happened there, but this is just a sample anyways. So this is from, the stamp set is Very Vases and that's Mary Fish's million dollar sales stamp set. And it, you've heard me talk about it before. There's a coordinating punch. It's a fantastic set and it will be in the new annual catalog 
you'll see me using it a lot. So these are the two sets that we are working with tonight. I am going to shuffle a couple of things around here so that you can see what I'm doing with my Big Shot. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna move this punch out of the way. So first things first, I have already cut out my letters, stamped them with archival black ink, which in case you haven't heard is retiring. A little cheesed about that since I just bought it not too long ago, but oh well. So these are the two embossing folders we're using and pro tip if you haven't already watched my YouTube videos, to prevent the cracking that inevitably happens, especially with the Simple Stripes embossing folder, give your cardstock a spritz on both sides, away from your work area so you don't get your table wet. But I'm just spritzing a very light spritz, both sides. I'm going to take this out. And you can see that I did that on the diagonal. So basically put as much of that in as I could. And some of it is naturally going to not have that line because it's like it's the next space anyways. So I have dedicated embossing plates. I'm just going to grab those. Now this little piece here is going to get kind of bent in the process, but that's okay. You can see this one did too, and I just kind of bent it back the other way. So let's emboss this. Oh no! <laughs> it didn't just... Okay. I'm not going to glue this all on, but you can see it got torn, but there we go. Now, if I hadn't sprayed this, this would be falling apart. It would be cracking everywhere. So, I mean, it's a little damp right now, but perfect. So I'm not going to adhere this one down because obviously I don't want to have that. And if I put an embellishment anywhere else, it's going to look like I'm trying too hard. So now I have a piece of basic black cardstock. I'm gonna spritz that as well. And that, it almost seeps right into the paper immediately. I should say that if you live in a humid climate, chances are you don't need to spritz your cardstock. Here in Manitoba, it's only humid in the summer. And we are very early in spring still. The snow has just melted in the last like two weeks. It's 21 degrees today, but we've had like maybe two of those days. So there we go. And this is just, I want to say it's about an inch and a half, inch and a half wide. And we want it to be five and a quarter in length. So there we go. Now, like I said, I'm not going to put this all together because it, one, I think you'll get bored, and two, it's just gluing, and you all know how to do that. So let's keep it for the technique part of this tonight. I'm going to big shot back out of the way. So for my letters, Mom, and you could use whatever you want. Um, you could definitely use more letters than the three that I have here. But we are going to take that Very Vos, Very DeVos' stamp set, and you can see I've got a template and some masks in here. Just going to take the stamps out. Grab a couple of blocks and grab some of my ink. So if you can see that there, I've got some Daffodil Delight. I have lovely lipstick. I have Peekaboo Peach and Flirty Flamingo. So a nice florally combo there. And you can see this is lovely lipstick. This is one of the new incoming in colors with the new stamp case. So it opens like a compact. So you just pull it open like that and you can push it down or you can just leave it as is. I'm gonna leave it like that. Uh, if you do get one of the new stamp pads and it doesn't slide very well, I've heard that if you put a little bit of WD-40 along the track, that works. Um, you can 
Let's do these backwards. You can also use a little bit of like rub a tea light on it and the wax from that will help it to open. This is a brand new design, so it'll be great. It's just these haven't been used yet. I'll grab a couple of my smaller blocks. I do need to get some more A blocks because that's a perfect size for these little flowers. And there's nothing like stamping up clear acrylic blocks. So, with all of these flowers, I did the outline in Smoky Slate, and then I stamped in my colors. So we will start with that Smoky Slate, pardon my arm. Ooh. And let's start with a tulip. So I'm gonna go basically in the same kind of pattern that I went when I was making this originally. So there's a tulip in the bottom. Now you could leave this so that it's not fussy cut already. It might make it easier, but I didn't want you to have to sit there and watch me do that live. Boring. Okay. Sorry, I'm a little shaky. There we go, those are the tulips, and I'm just gonna stamp that off. Now I'm going to grab this little flower, and it's just adorable. Hard to see the detail, there you go. It's almost kind of like a succulent, I love it. So that goes in the middle of the M. Whoopsie, <laughs> one over here, one over there one on either side of this O and you could do whatever you wanted it doesn't have to be these flowers but another type of small flower would be great and the leaves so there's this tiny little leaf and you're just gonna put that anywhere where there's a space Now, if you were worried about getting it on the other side, you could use a mask but for our purposes here. I think we're just fine. So we're gonna cover up that little boo-boo. I didn't get the full impression that I had wanted there. And that's it for the smoky slate. And if you can see these, all of the stamps have a coordinating filler, basically. So all of the tulips I used either Peekaboo Peach or Daffodil Delight. I'm sorry if my head's getting in here. Now what you could do is stamp it off so you get a nice subtle color. I kind of like it darker. And you can see on this one, I ended up using um, just my Stampin' Right markers to get a little bit more shading in there, but I'm digging this in the brighter yellow. Should have tried that the first time. Okay, and now we have some Peekaboo Peach. And again, I stamped that off, but you don't have to. You don't have to stick with the same colors that I did. The fun is in the creativity And I want to show you a couple other. This was inspired by a video that Dina Rico did that I watched. And she was basically coloring with stamps. And I loved the idea. So I want to show you what I did beyond what I saw on her video. Okay, so we have a couple of flirty flamingo. And these are photopolymer, so it should be fairly easy to line up. I'm just not at an angle that I would normally be at when I'm stamping, so it's a little difficult. Okay, so now for the lovely lipstick, and you could certainly stamp that off first. We'll do one 
Oh, I should have stamped it on another one, but we'll do one stamped off and one full strength. Again, I'm so sorry if my head is in the way here. Okay, and one more. And then we are going to use Lemon Lime Twist for our leaves. Okay, there we go. Now you can see I've used this lovely lipstick already because this is never gonna be the same. We're gonna take that off and grab the Lemon Lime Twist for these leaves. I was just thinking, I better put that away before I make a mess. Okay, so let's grab our coloring leaf. I sure hope I haven't moved out of the frame. Now I think for the sake of time, I'm not going to do the pear pizzazz that I did on here. We could do one of them at double strength here. There we go. And this would also look, whoops, really cute um, going outside the lines, like if you did it offset on purpose. Or if you do it once by accident and then you do the rest of them on purpose. So there, that's all there is to that. Wasn't that easy and oh so fun? So I'm just gonna grab our background here and like I said it got kind of mangled but all we do is figure out our placement pop them on some mini dimensionals and we've got an ad sorry I was totally out of the frame there we've got an adorable card for mom because Mother's Day is only a week and a bit away so if you live in Winnipeg and you would like to make a card for your mom or I don't know for whoever then check out my Facebook site because I'm going to be posting some events there for Mother's Day. And I'm just going to grab the cards that I was talking about that I did, the different coloring. And of course I've put them all, all over the place. So that was the end of our card in case I wasn't clear on that. So adorable, right? And you could do whatever letters you want. Um, so the coloring that I was talking about, I did three cards in the Petal Palette suite. And all the same flowers. So it's basically three cards, one stamp. I'll clean up a little bit here before I put these all in ink. So I die cut them all. I stamped two of them in the archival black and one in the gray. And I colored them. But this, again, is based on Dina Rico's technique. And if you haven't checked out that video, I will try to remember to put a link to it in the comments. And hey, Diana, Kathleen, hi. Um, there have been some interruptions with the Wi-Fi tonight, so it will be uh, maybe a little piecemeal. But this was the card that we made. Actually, we made two cards. I made this one, and I've lost the other one. Where did I? I'm losing my mind. So we made this one first. Oh, holy sunshine. Maybe that'll be better. Okay, still a little bit, but we made these two cards. So check back and see those. Um, but I was just talking about how I colored with these ones. So it's the same stamp set, but you can see it's different. So I took from the Love What You Do stamp set, I took this tiny little one and I colored the flowers with lovely lipstick. Sorry, let's turn the light on here. The sun is gorgeous, but it's messing around with my lighting. So I took that and I used that little stamp and then I also took from the waterfront stamp set some of the um, the splatters right here. So that was fun. And then I used um, this little one to do the leaves. So super fun. That was the first one I did. The next one I did, 
I took the flower, sorry for all this noise. I took the flower from Petal Palette, this little one. Stamped it up in Peekaboo Peach. And I don't know if you can tell, I'll turn on a bit more light. That is how I ink these up. So you'll see there's the petals from that flower in both the Peekaboo Peach and Emerald Envy. Love that. And then put that petal pair um, embossing folder in behind. And then with this one, I dug out my Eclectic Expressions, which I don't think I'm ever getting rid of. That was such an amazing celebration stamp set. And I basically colored it that way using a couple of the different stamps. So I thought it was a nice way to get some color without taking out your Stampin' Rights or your blends or watercolor pencils. It just gives it a unique look. So that has um, Berry Burst and Flirty Flamingo and I think um, Berry Burst stamped off. So super fun. So there were those three cards. Now before we go, because I still have a YouTube video to film tonight, I wanted to show you. So this card that we did tonight uses the lined alphabet stamp set and like I said I don't have the dies I think that's gonna be some time before I get those but the dies will cut these letters out so there's no fussy cutting lovely but for some of us it's beyond the budget and some of us enjoy fussy cutting so that's what I did on this one uh, I'm hoping to get the dies at some point but we'll see uh, but with this set, even just having the stamps, there's so much you can do. One of the first cards that I did is this. So I stamped them overlapping and then I colored them so that it looks like the H is in front of the U and it's all one piece and then I just mounted it on some dimensionals with a whole bunch of black and white in the background. And then this one, I didn't cut out the middle partially because I was being lazy and partially because I wanted to see how it was going to look. And you can just cut them out. Some of them are on dimensionals, like the H, the P, and the Y are on dimensionals, and the A and the other P are not. So I think there are a number of possibilities that you could use this set for without having the dies. The dies are a pricey item, so like I said, I will wait for a half price item or some kind of miracle to get those but you can get the stamp set without having the dies and I think if you had um, one of those brothers scan and cuts it would be even better but that's that so I wanted to show you we had some old some new and uh, that's it so thank you for stopping in I hope you have a great rest of the night and we'll see you soon